So I'm going to show you how to find the standard deviation. We will use the cat's weights problem that we did in section 3.2. Remember in that section we found out that the mean was actually equal to 8.02 pounds. To find the standard deviation, you're going to take each of your x values. So let's start with a column with each x value. It's easy to do standard deviation in a table than in the formula. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take each of those x values and subtract off the mean of 8.02. So 6.8 .8 minus 8.02 is negative 1.22. 8.2 minus 8.02 is 0 0.18. 7.5 minus 8.02 is negative 0 0.52. 9.4 minus 8.02 is 1.38. And 8.2 minus 0 8.02 is again 0 0.18. This column should add up to zero. If you did everything right, you had the right mean and you did all these calculations right, that column will add to zero. It's a good check to make sure you did everything right. Now we're going to take each of those x minus x bar values. We're going to square them to get rid of the negative signs. Don't forget when you square a negative number it becomes positive. The calculator won't actually show you that because of order of operations. So just make sure you always put positive numbers here. So if you square negative 1.22, you get 1.4884. If you square 0.18, you get 0.0324. You will notice I'm keeping lots of decimal places. This reduces rounding errors. If you square negative 0.52, you get 0.2704. If you square 1.38, you get 1.9044. And if you square 0 0.18, you again get 0 0.0324. Now to actually find the variance first, we're going to take and add these five numbers together. When we do that, we get 3.728. So we're going to first find the variance, and after that we can find the standard deviation. The variance symbol is s squared. To find the variance, you take that number we just found of 3.728, and you divide that by n minus 1. n minus 1 would, in this case, be 5 minus 1, where n is the number of data points. When you divide this by basically 4, you end up with the number 0 0.932. The units of this are pounds squared. Since we actually want to have square root of all that, to get the standard deviation, you actually take the square root of that number we just found, which actually gives us 0.965. And the units are pounds, just like the original data. And that is all there is to actually finding the standard deviation.